Sure. Well, just to recap, around 9 o'clock last night, we received a call uh, to Highway 90 where it appears that two vehicles were racing, at least two vehicles were racing. Uh, one is a Pontiac GTO and the other, which has not yet been positively identified and, and found, uh, is a white in color Volkswagen GTI with a black stripe. Uh, we're at the, in the process of trying to get some stock stock photos of those cars to put out. Reason being is we would like to get that driver identified. Uh, but what we know is this, that uh, during the course of this, this race, which was heading westbound, uh, the driver of that GTO lost control of the car, uh, hit a, 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 the, the median guardrail, uh, flipped over and ended up on the eastbound lanes. Uh, there he collided with, uh, with another vehicle that had two passengers in it, uh, a woman in her 40s and a young child uh, around 10 years of age. Uh, they were both injured. Uh, the, the passenger in that GTO is a female that we have not yet identified. The reason we have not been able to identify her is she's got some pretty substantial injuries and she was in and out of surgeries all morning. We have not been able to definitively identify her yet, but she's in listed in critical condition. And uh, you know, my understanding is that her, extens her, her injuries are quite extensive. Uh, and so at present, the driver of that, the GTO, a 33-year-old male, has been booked into the Bear County Jail by proxy because I believe he's still in the hospital as well. But he's been booked by proxy on a total of about five felony charges, most of them racing related. Uh, the one charge uh, that is not directly ra racing related is an injury to a child for the injury to the 10 year old uh, child in the other car. Uh, he's got about $300,000 in bonds, and so we don't expect that he's going to be getting out of jail anytime soon. Uh, but right now, our number one priority is to get this other young lady identified, uh, to try to get her next of kin notifications made if they haven't already. Uh, and of course, we do want to get the driver of that white Volkswagen GTI identified because it is highly likely that they'll be facing charges as well if we're able to get them identified. The ask, the public ask for us, is going to be, you know, we know that the that, that dash cameras are, are uh, a trend that, that we're, you know, that we see. And so we are asking anybody that may have been rolling uh, a dash camera, that, that may have witnessed some of this, uh, we'd, we're interested in obtaining that video because we do want to get that white uh, Volkswagen identified. Sí, anoche aproximadamente a las 9 de la noche nosotros recibimos una llamada por la carretera 90 uh, donde se aparenta que dos vehículos iban uh, jugando carreras y uno de, los, de esos vehículos uh, se salió del, del camino, uh, se revolcó y ellos uh, llegaron a la, las líneas al, que iban al este Uh, se estrellaron con otro carro y desafortunadamente dos pasajeros que iban dentro de ese otro, otro carro, la chofer y un niño de 10 años de edad, ellos sufrieron heridas graves. Uh, ahorita se aparenta que ellos van a sobrevivir sus heridas, pero uh, la, una mujer que iba de pasajera con ese carro que se, que se salió, el carro del sospechoso, ella todavía sigue en condiciones críticas con, con graves uh, heridas. Y uh, ella hasta ahorita no se sabe uh, qué, qué es el nombre de ella porque ella estaba en cirugía por toda la, la noche y la mañana. Entonces todavía no logramos uh, uh, averiguar qué es su nombre de ella. Pero sí, que, que, sí quisiéramos saber quién es. El sospechoso, un hombre de 33 años de edad que iba manejando cuando iban jugando carreras, él se enfrentó con, con cuando menos uh, cinco cargos de felonía uh, por varios cargos de jugar ca carreras, pero también con herir a uh, un niño de, de menos de 10 años de edad, aproximadamente 10 años de edad. Entonces, él uh, está ahorita en el hospital, pero ya se enfrentó con esos cargos. Nosotros, a nosotros nos interesa identificar el chofer del otro carro, un carro blanco marca Volkswagen GTI, que quisiéramos identificar. Sí sabemos que, que hay gente en el público que tienen uh, cámaras en sus carros. Entonces, nosotros, a nosotros nos interesa uh, que alguien, si iba como testigo y se, si tienen video de ese carro, el, el Volkswagen, eh, nosotros quisiéramos que nos hablen al 210-335-6070. ¿El conductor de ese vehículo huyó? O, o sea... No, él se quedó allí. Uh, él se, se estrellaron con, con otro carro marca Toy Toyota. Uh, y él obviamente se quedó en la escena, entonces nos, a nosotros nos interesa, oh, oh no, no, dispense, el otro carro, el, el carro marca Volkswagen, ese siguió 
cuando el otro se salió del, ca del camino, uh, el Volkswagen siguió huyendo. Entonces, a nosotros nos interesa identificar ese, ese chofer porque es posible que ellos también se van a enfrentar con cargos. Sheriff Salazar, yes, so you, you do have one person in custody. Yes. Um, that's the, pers the driver of the Pontiac GTO, a 33-year-old male. So you're looking for the driver of the white Volkswagen? Yes. Uh, the, the suspect, John Fallon, is, is who's in custody now. He's the 33-year-old male. Uh, the one that we're still looking for is the white Volkswagen. Now, it is quite possible that the owner of that Volkswagen, the driver of that Volkswagen, once they are identified, uh, is going to be facing charges very similar to what uh, Fallon is facing. Uh, but additionally, they may be facing charges with fleeing the scene of an accident. Uh, even though you're not necessarily involved in the accident, it is quite possible that you may face charges uh, as a non-contact vehicle fleeing the scene of a crash. It's quite possible they may be facing some charges as well. And so we're asking anybody that may have information on that, that white, G that white uh, Volkswagen GTI, either they obtain a license plate or, again, it's a long shot, but we're hoping that somebody may have had a dash cam running and is able to provide us with video. We're very interested in hearing from those people. Uh, the number they can call is 210-335-6070, or they can also email us at bcsotips at bear.org. Algo así, Laura, que ya casi es el año nuevo, eh, muchos van a festejar y es posible que algunas personas se dirijan a las calles para estas carreras ilegales. ¿Un mensaje para la comunidad de lo peligroso que es esto? Bueno, ya sabemos que esto de, de estar, de, de jugar carreras no es algo nuevo para nosotros. Desafortunadamente es algo que sigue pasando. Uh, en, en nuestras calles y carreteras, uh, pero ya sabemos también que ya en este, esta, este tiempo del año muchas gentes andan en fiestas, se les hace fácil andar manejando ebrios, entonces este problema de ya uh, estar jugando carreras y también estar manejando ebrio, esas dos cosas no, bien, no van muy bien juntas. Entonces, para nosotros es algo que ya sabemos que va a estar pasando. Nosotros, aunque, aunque vamos a tener más oficiales en nuestras uh, carreteras, también es importante que el público sepa que si lo hacen estas actividades, uh, pueden ser arrestados, pero, pero más peor de eso, pueden uh, hacer algo que acabe en la muerte o que, de, de alguna otra persona uh, o que alguien sufre heridas uh, graves. Nosotros preferimos que no hagan las actividades estas. So John, John Felan is F-E-L-A-N. F-E-L-A-N, and I believe his middle name is Hammer. Hammer. And then, um, so, do you know what hospital the woman is in? University. She's at uh, University Hill, uh, Hospital. University help. Is there any relation between the, the woman and the boy? Are they mother and son? Well, at, at this point, between the, the passenger, the, the other vehicle? Yes. Oh, uh, that, I don't know that there's a relation. Is it, is it a, it, it's a daughter? Okay, it's a, it's a mother and daughter is my understanding. Oh, so it's not a 10-year-old boy. I, 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 I was under the understanding it was a boy. It's a little girl? Okay. It's a mother and a daughter. Yeah, my apologies. No, that, no, you're fine. So mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. Daughter is 10 years old. Daughter is 10 years old. And, and, and as far as the passenger in Falan's vehicle, we know it's a female, but we just don't have her identified yet because she's been in and out of surgery. We, we were not able to get her okay. identified yet. So, they were, so he had a passenger as well, mm -hmm. a female. We don't have the age on her. We don't have her age or her name at this point. Okay. Um, and then... Um, are you seeing more of these street racing crashes? Well, look, I mean, we know that, that street racing is just a continuous problem here. And we work with SAPD and DPS a lot on operations to try to target these street racers. I mean, they're out there showing very little, you know, a lot of disregard for human life uh, to include their own and their passengers, clearly. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pandemic in, in our, or an epidemic in our, in our society that these people just continue to do this. But as I mentioned, you know, now's the holiday time. There's a, a, a lot more people out there on the roads that have been drinking at, at various parties. Um, those two continuing issues are something we don't want to see combined. And although we will have a lot more deputies out on the roadways during this holiday season uh, patrolling, we would prefer that people get the point on their own and just decide to do the responsible thing and not drink and drive and not street race. So do you, do you know if they were drinking the street race? At this point, I don't, I don't know that they were drinking, uh, but I do know that, you know, we do know at this point that they were street racing, which, you know, it's, it's continuing to be a problem for us. And you said the mother and daughter at University Health? Yes. Okay. And so basically you're looking for... 
blue GTO? It's a white, oh, white. no, it's a white GTI. Uh, the, yeah, the one that wrecked was a Pontiac GTO. Uh, the one that, that we, that's still at large is a white Volkswagen GTI. So are they both white or they're just? Uh, I, don't know the, I don't know the color on the one that wrecked. Green. Green, Green on, the, on, on the suspect vehicle. Okay. Yeah. The one that got away is white and with a black stripe. And you don't know if they know each other? I don't, I don't know. We, we don't know who, not knowing who the driver of the Volkswagen is, it's too early to tell if they knew. Nada más para confirmar, entonces, eh, los heridos en el otro vehículo era una niña. De... Era una niña y una mujer. ¿Y son madre e hija? Madre e hija. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cuál es la, la condición de, de la pequeña? No más uh, heridas graves, pero no se sabe qué tan... Pensamos nosotros, la información que yo tengo es que van a sobrevivir sus heridas, pero son heridas graves. ¿El vehículo que se volcó, se volcó encima del otro auto? Uh, y cuando iban jugando carreras, iban al, al oeste. Uh -huh. Cuando se volcó, se, se salió del camino y, y acabó en las, las líneas que iban al este. El, entonces se salió y, y cruzó y ya cruzando se estrelló con la otra con el otro carro. Y la, la madre y la hija estaban atrapadas en el vehículo en algún momento tuvieron que ser rescatadas. No no sé si estaban eh, atrapadas. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Yes, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.